Valve adjustment, Honda ATC 200 ES. Remove the two covers. Remove the cover to expose the timing mark and the alignment mark. And there is the timing mark, which is very elusive. And I had to actually take a screwdriver and kind of push on the wheel to get it to line up. But we're totally lined up on the timing mark, which brings us to top dead center. Now, if you wiggle the intake and the exhaust, and you can feel a little bit of gap in there, then you know you're at top dead center. Now, sometimes you can be at top dead center, but you have a tight valve and it won't give you even the ever so slight amount of, you know, gap. But it's important that you get it top dead center. Now, I also have used a tube to give me a visual as I'm bringing it up. This tube will come up as the piston moves up. This will come up and then it'll stop moving up. And I know I'm at top dead center, but... You can be at top dead center on the exhaust stroke. So if you're at the timing mark, which is on the other side, and you've got free play, a little bit of free play in your tappets, and you're at top dead center. And from there, we'll measure the gap in both the intake and exhaust. Here is a really good resource for you. 1984, 200 ES Big Red. This is a website. It's called oscarmayer.net ATC manuals. Just go to there and it and it's got Honda but it's also got you know different brands, Yamaha, Kawasaki. So, that's a really big deal to have an owner's manual at at your disposal. So, the owner's manual says rotate the crankshaft to the T mark. The piston must be at top dead center and compression stroke. And there's your clearances. And I'll show you how to check those. Now that we know we're at top dead center, because we have the play, like I said, I can feel the play in the exhaust intake. Now here's what I bought offline. And what it is, is it's the 0.02 or 0.002 <clears throat> or 0.05 in the metric. I think this is inches. And so you just want to slide it up underneath your valve stem. And it should be a little bit of resistance. This one seems like there's a little bit more than what it should be. Although... Not getting any play once I put that in there. So that could be good. Now I know the intake is a lot harder to get in here, but if I get in there, I'm finding that the intake is near perfect. But if anything, it's on the loose side too. So we're going to adjust these anyway. So what you do is you take a 10 millimeter. And you loosen this lock nut right here. And since this one I think is on the tight side, I'm going to screw this screw down a little bit tighter. Now what you're going to find is when you lock, move this lock nut, this screw wants to move with it. So it's, a, it's kind of a touch thing where you either hold it with a screwdriver while you're tightening, tightening this nut so that this doesn't move. Or you just see it just a it's it's a play thing. You see how that how that tightened up and how that loosened. So I've got it snug again. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back in there. Now there's way too much play. Way too much. You can, I mean you can barely even feel any resistance gaps too wide so 
I'm going to get this to where I can still turn this, but it's real close to being snug. And so this is what I've got. It's just a screwdriver, and I'm giving it a little turn, and then I'm going to hold it as I tighten that nut. Now, I'm not going to tighten it all the way until I see if I've got what I think feels like really good. Yeah, that feels really good. Now, I know I, I looked at this before, and that line on, that, on this screw end was almost straight up, so I'm a little tighter, just a baby bit tighter. And in reality, I probably could go a little bit more, and if... I, if I tighten it up all, you know, to good and snug, it might tighten up this as I'm doing it. But it didn't look like it did. So there means I'm going to need to do, well, no. Yeah, it's still a little bit loose. So anyway, you can see how you've just got to play with this till you get a really good, where it's not tough to get it in that slot, but it, but your feeler gauge has a little bit of drag to it. It's just a touch thing. Now, when you get a little better at this, you can actually wiggle this and remember what that, just what that feels like if you do enough of these, and you can just do it by feel. And the, and the intake feels identical to the front here. So that's how you get them adjusted. One more thing I wanted to say is that the motor needs to be cold, like cold overnight or at least cold for, you know, I'd say four or five hours in order to do the adjustment. Now you can see I went too far. It's, I can't get this in between the stem and the rocker. So I went too far. And as you can see, you can see that this slot was straight up and down. I've got it almost an eight. So I need to just back it off a little and I should be perfect. All right, it's all tightened up. The feeler gauge goes in there. A little resistance, it's, I believe that's just perfect. And then you wiggle it up and down, and there's very little play in these bikes. Even though I think that this back feels identical, I'm going to do it just so you can see. It's so tight back here with the frame that getting this wrench in here is nearly impossible. So I'm using quarter inch drive with a 10 and I loosened it so now I want to I want to make a a visual of where that slot again is in the top of that head and I'm going to want to have it tightened just a little bit so now that it's loose I'll use the the wrench I can get it in there now. I'll loosen it a little more. There we go. And tighten that head just a little if I can. It's so difficult to get in there, but I've got a special screwdriver that'll work. This one will go right through the frame and land right on the head. So I've tightened it a little bit, and now I'm going to feel. Feels a little bit on the tight side because I'm using the 0.08. <laughs> Use the 0.02 and it probably is going to be just near perfect. And it's still a little tight. So like I said, I thought that was pretty much perfect, but I wanted to show you how to do this. And I like to keep the video short and to the point. So anyhow, that's how you adjust it. And then you just put everything back together. And there you go, valve adjustment. And again, the spec is 0 0.002 or 0 0.05. And there you have it. Go adjust your valves.